Hey, ready fish. The 11th of May, 2018. And I wanted to show you something that just kind of came upon me here um, as I saw these couple articles about this summit at the White House yesterday. An AI summit. They were all there. All the big ones, over a hundred of them, Microsoft, I mean, you name it, all the big hitters, you know what I mean? GE, all the, you name it, the big guys, just, just imagine this, okay? And it's all about an AI summit, okay? Now, when I saw this, it didn't really, didn't really do much for me, but when I went back and I read some of this stuff, and the way that they word these things, and how they need to really embrace AI to address issues in all the various areas of life. <laughs> Manufacturing, healthcare, transportation, financial services, logistics, all of it, okay? Because everything is now dependent on its connectivity. The internet and AI is being introduced as you know, they talk about it as something likened to a supercomputer that's just able to process all the data that it accumulates uh, to, you know, process solutions for things quicker. So they tap into the vast pools of, you know, recorded knowledge and draw out the solutions, so on and so forth. However, what they're not really sharing with the world is where this AI originates from, how the actual process, the technology behind it. They can try to explain it to the world in a scientific terms, but unless you go and get a PhD at Yale or something, you know, you're just going to be looked at as a fool. I look at things from a biblical worldview. I look at the times I'm in and I know what I'm looking at. And I'm looking at the framework for the beast system. That's what it is. The AI will house the dragon, essentially. You know, in that realm of connectivity in which to control virtually everything in real time. Okay? You gotta just understand how this works it, it, the quantum computing the if you've never heard the guy who uh who i guess he he's the brain or whatever behind this d-wave quantum computing system uh gordy rose and if you've never heard this guy he tells you exactly what they really are doing and there's a couple spots i just want to like share with you guys here let me see if i start like right around here or so just listen to what he says here. So he, what he was saying is basically, yes, there are these massively intelligent entities out there, but they're not good. They're not evil. They just don't give a shit about you even in the slightest. The same way that you don't care about an ant is the same way they're not going to care about you. And these things that we're summoning into the world now are not demons. They're not evil but they're more like the Lovecraftian great old ones. There are entities that are not necessarily going to be aligned with what we want. So this trans... Now, do I need to play that over again? The great old ones? Uh, that immediately reminded me of like what we were talking about yesterday. Uh, the ancients of the house of Israel. The ancients, old ones... There it is. And what these guys are, are tapping into is the spiritual realm. It's We're in a spiritual war. It's just most of the world doesn't seem to even have any concept of that. right? But you can see it once you understand that you're, you're surrounded in uh, darkness and evil abounds throughout this world, you know. But I won't get into that. I just wanted to, to, it was put upon me just to let people know that they are, in fact, putting together a system that will work through the quantum field, okay, the unimaginably vast fabric of reality. And this is all like real stuff with all the bigwigs who are already employing this technology. 
However, they have not come up with the mechanism which can centralize and organize and process everything. You have to imagine the, the amount of data that comes in to any central processing place from the entirety of the world. Okay, picture that. Every button you push on your smartphone and, and then just multiply that times everybody in the world that's on a keyboard or a screen, all that data flowing in at one time can't be processed by anything humans can do. They need to tap into this place that Mr. Rose here is talking about. The ones that don't give a blank about you. Sorry about that, but that's what, what they tell us. These are what he says they're more like the lovecraftian great old ones there are entities mm -hmm. that are not necessarily going to be aligned with what we want that's true unless you are of you know the reprobate mind and you want this wickedness and you want you love the flesh you love the world the pleasures and lusts thereof money and sex and all of it okay and you don't realize that you are a spiritual uh, entity yourself and there is a, a good and an evil within you that's in a war and how you live out that war matters when you die and these guys will tell you that they're going to end up telling you you can live forever if you just let us put this chip in you. This is how it's going to work. It's too simple to, you know what I mean? They're very cunning. And what are they going to do it through? The devices. Everything is interconnected. You can't, it's to the point now where it's a utility. It is a necessity. It has to be protected and guarded and more government regulation. And that's coming. Just wait until they're ready and the reason that they haven't tapped this thing in yet is because they haven't developed the ability to centralize and process and control everybody in the world in real time at once do you understand and respond to anyone who pushed the wrong button or tweeted the wrong thing this is how it works there won't be any lacking or delay in your in the retribution of your hate speech or your improper language you know what i'm saying and these guys are the ones that are developing and bringing in that mechanism which can process it all and it's from that same place that he's talking about the spiritual realm but they call it the quantum field or what have you and cern i've showed you them before if you don't understand the deal with cern i don't know what to tell you they put demons and executioners on all their web pages ah this is how they're going to bring it in and it's coming soon that's what i was moved to tell you and it'll be through your devices through all the devices of the world you ever look up the word devices in the bible you don't even have to be biblically, like, you know, smart to understand this. You know, lest Satan should get advantage of us. For we are not ignorant of his devices. Huh? Okay. There you go. I'm just telling you, these are Satan's devices. And they're not being allowed to bring this in yet because there's a restrainer. And it's Jesus. Oh, sorry. There, it's Jesus that is the key. I mean, you need to seek him and know him. And, and just let him into your heart. Because he's the only way that you're going to ever escape this darkness. And it's upon us if you don't see it i'm afraid i i don't know what to tell you at this point but you will see it soon enough it will be unavoidable no matter what caves you go and hide in and this is what cern is doing they're developing the ability to track the hundreds of millions of they call collisions i call them financial transactions and tweeter posts 
that's what they're going to control in real time with the spirit of the dragon, okay? This is satanic to the core. Seek Jesus, be saved before it's too late. <laughs> Peace and grace to y'all. Any fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 